This is a view of the Y from just across the bridge at Hay. And part of Offa's Dyke path, which I walked along many years ago. This is the road with the going up to Clyro, the silent car you heard in the, you didn't hear actually because it's a silent car. Local field, panoramic view of. This is also part of the Clyro road, which is a small village about a mile outside Hay. This is a view back down towards Hay Bridge and Hay, which is across the valley, the Wye Valley. And I was looking for the path which is part of the Wye Valley Walk, and this is the stile that leads onto it. I walked up and down that road about five or six times before I actually found this stile, although it seems fairly obvious now. And there's even a sign pointing to the Wye Valley Walk. It's a view of the Dana Valley with hay kind of clustered around its slopes, you can just see there. This is um, the path a little bit further on. We didn't go very far along the path. This is um, a still which gets rid of the jump in between two shots of the camera. It looks a little less peculiar than it did. Walking along this path I met a local and I wished him the time of day and he wished me complete silence. So we still seem to be on the right path. I have no idea what this is. Well, it's obviously a door and a wall. But what is behind the door and the wall? Who can say? There seems to be a little wood along the route. And leading to uh, another sign. And the same wall a little bit further on. Looks quite ancient. There's the path and the wind, and we can see the Y through the trees. Here's what the ground looks like if you're interested in looking at the ground. And we come to another style. And again, a mysterious building, corrugated iron roof. You don't see too many of those around. Quite a big building. I have no idea again what that is. And yet another wall. No, I lie, it's a tree, of course. Bit tricky keeping handheld camera still. I should have used the monopod, but that only occurred to me after. Another view of the ground. 
and we come to a footbridge over a piddling little stream which presumably leads into the Wye somewhere or other. It's so piddling it's very difficult to see any water there. There's water down somewhere. I pointed the camera down here. I can't see much in the way of water. So I brought it up again. That's a nice little dwelling here beside the river. Seems to have got in the harvest, all bailed up. It's a closer look at the same building. A little bit isolated, but a very pleasant place. And you can drive right up here in your car, which I found out almost to my cost when one nearly ran me over. And a bend or, as we scientists say, a meander in the river. And a bit of floodplain. through the, the river through the leaves rather and as you can see again it's a very windy day a very windy day and we still are on a tiny bit of the Wye Valley Walk. I'm not sure how long it is, but it's a lot longer than the walk I went on. And uh, here's a bit of mud for people who like mud, and a bit of shoe for people who like shoes. And the river, and the leaves, and the wind. And so we say farewell to the River Wye and the wind and the leaves. Ready? You roll over, you pick up the sword, get me under the arm, under the arm. Not <laughs> me bloody belly, get off. Okay, that's it. And I fall over and fall down. Ready? Now this time, do it slower. Oh, you have to scab it. Don't get. Walk up, you stand there. You're looking over there, and I walk up. Right. Is this action? You say action. Action.
Ready. Action. Action, he said. Ready, wait for him. Do you take a step forward when I come? Ready? One more quick one now. No! One more! No, I don't want to get my sword. Let's have a look at this then. Come on. He doesn't want to get his sword dirty, Direct.